Yo, welcome back everybody to another video. So today we're going to be learning about how to push P. We're pushing P. We're pushing props. We're pushing React Navigation props into another component. Basically, what that means is how do we send more API data for a selected um, anime into a different screen? And that's where React Navigation props come into handy. So this is what we're going to be doing. So for example, if I were to click on uh, this anime right here, Hungry Heart Wild Sticker, uh, Wild Striker, it would open up another screen and then we should see information regarding that specific actual um, anime. So let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so there's many ways of going about this, but last time we left off, we went ahead and displayed all of our anime in a uh, scrollable list like this. So what we're going to be doing right now is we need to figure out a way to give it that on-click functionality so that we can actually go to a different screen. And there's something that comes right out of the box for React Native, and that's called Touchable Opacity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import something called Touchable Opacity from React Native. Now you can think of this as uh, a button of sorts, where you aren't technically making it into a button. You're just giving it, you're giving a certain image, uh, a certain view, the ability to be clickable. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace this view tag right here with a Touchable Opacity. And same thing at the very bottom here. And now if we press it, we should see that it has that on press functionality where it looks like it's being pressed whenever I click it. And the next thing I'm going to show you is we want to make it not so obvious that it's being clicked. So we want to make this on press, this little fade, a little less. So to do that, what we're going to do is click active opacity and we're going to set that to 0.9. So now if we press it, you'll see that it is selecting, but it's a lot less. Now, this is where the on press functionality comes in. So if I do, if I pass the prop called on press, and I give it a function like so, I can do something like console.log uh, hello world. And if I scroll to the very bottom of this list, we should see Hello world right there, perfect. So now it's telling us that we're selecting, it's, it's being pressed perfectly. So now that we figured out the on press ability, how do we send the user to a different screen to view more information about the, about the anime that they selected? Well, that's really simple. We're gonna be using something called um, use navigation from React Navigation. So I'm going to create a variable right here. I'm gonna call it const navigation is equal to use navigation like so, and I'm gonna call it as a function. And this variable now has the ability to um, navigate to a certain route afterwards. So if I were to do, let's say, let's get rid of this console log right here, and let's do navigation.navigate. And inside of here, we have to pass it the screen name that we want to pass it to. So I'm going to call it uh, selected anime. And we also want to send to that new screen the anime data that we've selected for so for example if we selected <clears throat> if we selected trigon we want to be able to see all the information associated to the trigon api so that's going to be really simple all we have to do is we have to give it a uh, key name so i'm going to call it selected anime obj and it's going to be equal to anime obj like so so now when it select that specific anime it'll now contain all that information for that selected anime in this uh, key name right here. Alrighty, so now we've set up everything for this section. Now we need to actually create the screen where we're going to host all this information. So instead of the pages folder right here, I'm going to create another folder and I'm going to call it selected anime. And inside of here, I'm going to create a new file and I'll call it selected anime.js. And just so we have some information, I'm going to copy whatever I have in my home folder, uh, in my home file. I'm going to paste it in here and I'm going to change the screen name, the export default, to be selected anime screen. And let's get rid of all of this right here. Just so we have some text, I'm going to put in hello. Let's get rid of this render item, this data right here. We don't need this either. And let's clean this all up right here. We're going to leave the styles as is. We'll use it later on. Um, but now, what we're going to do is go into our uh, app.js file. I'm going to copy this stack.screen. I'm going to paste it. And remember, this name has to be the exact same as what we're defining right here. So selected anime. And I'm going to call the component 
selected anime screen. Alrighty, so go ahead and save it. And now if we test it out, if we click on, let's say, Trigun, it takes us to that screen that we want. Alrighty, so that's mighty fine and all, but I don't see any information for this actual AP, uh, this actual anime that we selected. Well, we need to pass in a prop in our selected anime screen to access. So in our curly braces, you need to pass a prop called route. And this route basically will contain all of our information that we need, plus a little bit more extra. So if we console log route, whoops, route, there we go. And we click on, let's say, Trigun. We see that in our console, we have a lot of information right here. So let me scroll up. Firstly, we have our key, the key associated to the actual screen, the name of the screen, the params, and all of our actual information that we want. So this is what we have to access. So we need to do route dot params dot selected anime obj. And so now if we scroll to the bottom, let's say we just refresh really quickly and we go to Trigon, we should see all of our parameter data. Now that we have all this available to us for that individual selected anime, let's go ahead and display a couple. So I'm gonna do text and let's do something like uh, well, firstly, let's set this to a variable so we don't have to continuously write that over and over again. Const uh, selected anime data is equal to that. And let's do selected anime data dot uh, title. If you save it, we see our title is right there. Let's say we want um, airing. So I'll do uh, airing. And finally, let's get a... Uh, Let's get, what else is there? Let's do approved, why not? Sure, that's a pretty basic one. Approved, and so now if we save it, we should see hopefully three different variables. Let me just refresh the actual um, app. So to Cowboy Bebop, we see that. Oh, that's probably why. Okay, I think I'm not accessing it properly. Um, Let's get rid of these two and let's select something something a little bit easier. Let's go with uh, let's go with the Japanese title. Why not? Dot title underscore Japanese and we'll get rid of the last one for now. Let's click Cowboy Bebop and we see that title right there. Perfect. So now we've accessed our data for that selected anime. Uh, let's do something else. Let's let's select Naruto which is my favorite one. We see Naruto and Naruto in Japanese. Perfect. Alrighty, so that concludes this tutorial. It was pretty short, I know, but it is very, very important because this is the fundamental stuff about React Navigation. That the documentation, um, it's a little bit difficult to learn, but I hope that it makes sense to you and how to work with it. And if you did enjoy, be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next part. Peace.